to show you how I create this effect using Movali. Let's go. To begin, I need to choose a title. For this effect, I prefer to use simple text, so I'm just going to head over to the Titles tab, click on All, and use the search bar to help me find it. Remember, if you want to save a title to your favorites folder so it's easy to find next time, just click on the heart in the left corner like this. Now that I've got my preferred title option, by dropping it in the timeline, I'll automatically be brought to the Clip Editing menu, where I can begin creating the look of my text. So first, I'll key into the text box what I'd like my title to say. Next, I'll adjust the color, font, and size. And for this effect, I prefer the look of an outline, so I'll add that by using the adjustments down here. Okay, next I'll choose my background. Movavi actually has a pretty decent selection of backgrounds, and you can find these by clicking on the import icon and selecting backgrounds. But for this example, I brought in an image that I downloaded for free from pngtree.com. PNG Tree has a lot of cool backgrounds, text effects, and stickers you've got to see. I'll leave a link down in the description. Be sure to check it out. Now, I'm going to drop this background into the timeline and then attach my title by placing it in the title track directly above. Next, I'll even up my clips and begin a quick export. Once finished, I'll grab my exported clip, bring it right back into the timeline, and clear out everything else I won't need. This effect requires one more piece of content, something that will actually be exposed through the text. In my media bin, I have a little gaming footage that I downloaded, and I'm just going to drop that into my timeline right here. Now, I'm going to take my text clip and place it in the track above the gaming content like this. Alright, this is where it gets fun. With my overlay clip highlighted, I can head over to the More Tools icon, select Chroma Key, and automatically be equipped with the Color Picker tool. Using this tool, I can select the colored text and it will become transparent, exposing the underlying footage. Now to fully expose this gaming content, I will add a zoom in. Up in the player window, I can use this frame to adjust the level of my zoom. For this example, I'm going to adjust this frame to about the size of the letter M. Now to finish zooming completely through the text, I will add one last zoom keyframe. To do this, I'll just right click on the clip, go up to pan and zoom, and left click add keyframe. Now again, up in the player window, I'll reduce the size of this frame until it's completely within the text. Quick note, if the guides are preventing you from placing your frame where you'd like, you can easily turn them off by clicking the three dot icon down here and selecting disable guides. You can also unpin and maximize your player window to get a full screen view of your zoom placement. Okay, once I've positioned my zooms, I can also fine-tune the timing of them by adjusting the keyframes down on my clip. Once all adjustments are complete, I'll have a pretty cool zoom through text effect. Thanks for watching.